But for a bunch of people who don't know all that stuff, you still need to add a little bit more story so that it makes sense. Because the people I know who don't yeah. know the lore behind Deadpool were just like, okay, this was a cool action movie, but I didn't exactly. really like this. Yeah. Like yeah. when you said, oh, it's a great 80s, 90s action movie. Our generation loves those, but I don't know if you notice. There's a reason they don't make movies like that anymore, um, and there's a reason that the Expendables, like you reference, yeah. is a joke. Like, no, I I agree. I'm not I'm not just denying that. Like, yeah, I, like, I don't want the stuff to be a joke. That's why. But here's the thing: it could be funny, but I don't want it to be laughed at. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying, right? Like, for me, like example, why was I disappointed with some of the? I'll give it. I'll give it, this is a perfect comparison, actually, mm. because you guys like the movie and I don't. Why did I not like? Black Widow. I didn't like Black Widow because Black Widow should have been the Jason Bourne of the Marvel Universe. Yeah. That's how that movie should have been. And it okay. wasn't to me. Oh, so you mean like it, it should have played out more like a spy thing, like more modern complete, cap movies? A hundred percent. Yes. A hundred percent. It should have gone the best further version, than the cap. best version of that is a deep espionage. Exactly. Yes. I agree. So I agree. One thing I example, if you go to the first original six films, right? Iron Man was tech. Uh, Thor was mystical. Myth, myth, yeah. Uh, uh, Captain America was the spy. Yeah. Then there was the team up, right? You have purposes for all your films. Yeah. So for me, and it's just like example. One of the reasons, some people liked uh, Sin City. Some people don't like Sin City. But if you ever read a Sin City comic book, why is Sin City like a 10 on 10 for me? If you read that comic book and then you watch that movie, it's fucking spot on it's exactly why watchmen is like a 9.5 because the only thing that they changed was the end because they wouldn't be able to really sell it so for me the reason why this is like essentially a 9.5 movie for me is because as a deadpool fan and someone who reads that who i still have deadpool as my pool is today yeah it it is dead center for a deadpool movie not dead center for the best comic book movie right not dead center for the best storytelling of the best uh like you know tale of time or whatever right, right but as a deadpool movie and its purpose as a deadpool movie 9.5 okay um, i'll give it to you 9.5 beautiful jaws loud. yes uh i would say <laughs> i'm giving it a 7.5 like all right i think it's really good above average um That's fair. some stuff is a little bit light i still liked it as like if if i had to be like oh i'm gonna vote with my heart i give it an eight but like if i had to like Calm down, bring right, it back. Right. Yeah. That's Ness? It. I would give it, I think, a seven. That's right. Like a seven on ten. I would have no, she likes it room. more than me. When no, no, no. I, yeah, yeah I liked it. I liked it more than I thought I would, but maybe, that, maybe that's why my score is higher because I had yeah. low expectations. <laughs> but if I had to base it off of a movie, movie, not my complete bias before, I would probably get it. I wouldn't be too far from probably Jaws. I probably do a seven point yeah. five. Okay, eight. if I take away all the baggage and I watch this purely as an action movie where I just had fun, it's definitely seven eight. Mm -hmm. It's 